Welcome to another Answer the Community Questions from our family members of FS Insight. There's three questions. Actually, I guess there's really four, um, like an extra credit. First question is on the 2023 outlook, what could dampen our bullish outlook? There's two things that could dampen the bullish outlook. The first is, uh, and I'd probably say the simplest way to think of it is there's two reasons you can get bearish. One is on valuation. Is the market extended on some sort of valuation metric? Now, keep in mind, the 10 year is at three and a half percent. That's a 33 PE for risk free. If the S&P trades above 33 times forward earnings um, and 240 earnings right now for next year. So if S&P got to around 7,900 this year, we would probably turn bearish. Um, that's not a prediction. I don't think it's going to get that high. Um, the second is really that there's earnings risk and earnings risk is really what the EPS uh, be at risk. And, you know, the biggest risk there is a recession. So if the bears are right and there's a recession, then, uh, you know, there could be downside. I would say that's the second. Question number two, what companies are poised to benefit from AI over the next decade? It's a challenging question, actually. It's not as easy as you think. Right now, people need GPUs, and that's why NVIDIA is doing so well. Um, but what, let's think back to, you know, 99, 2000, and we said, what companies are poised to benefit from the internet? I think a lot of people would have said, oh, well, it's the companies that make the plumbing for the internet that would do well. And they did well for a while, but then a lot fell to the wayside. I don't know if you guys remember companies like US Robotics that made modems. Uh, you know, Cisco kind of fell to the wayside. The companies that made money were the ones that made the internet uh, a lot more accessible. So they were essentially on ramps. That was a lot of things like the travel companies like Priceline and it was Amazon, which provided e-commerce. And of course, down the road, it, it ended up being those who actually created search engines like Yahoo and Google. So in an AI world, there are going to be many winners and the number of winners is going to change. I think for now I would stick with Fang and that's been our recommendation. Question number three, commercial real estate, will there be a crisis? And if so, can banks weather it? Another great question. I think there is going to be a crisis in commercial real estate. We already have too many empty office buildings, especially in many specific cities like San Francisco. Values have dropped. There are risks to the loans. Um, banks are somewhat better protected because a lot of these loans weren't necessarily done by banks. So they've been done through, by private lending. Value uh, have been lower than past cycles. So it's not like, you know, in many cases, the First Republic talked about this, you know, their loan to value was something like in the 60s or 40s in, in some cases. That means that if it's 40% loan to value, the price of the asset could fall 60% before there's a loss to the bank. So I think it's two parts. I think there is a commercial real estate crisis, but I don't think it's as clear that it's a crisis for banks. Question number four, as an extra credit, AI and investing, how will AI change how we invest in the future? It's gonna change how we invest in the future. That's no question. But I guess the question is, is how important is investing to you? Do you want to earn returns that mirror the market? then you'll just invest with an index. I don't think that's going to change with AI. Are you going to invest and try to time the market? Then yes, I think AI will play a role there because AI will make fewer emotional decisions, maybe better than a lot of people will do. But will you trust AI with your money more? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I would. It's like getting into a car. Would you really trust an autonomous driving car or would you get into a car with a guy that has a lot of experience driving a car that you've known for a long time? I think that's uh, still going to be one of the most important decisions you have to make is how you can sleep at night. And we know that a lot of algorithmic type systems, even if they're intelligent AI, still doesn't eliminate the tail risk that if something goes wrong, uh, how are you going to feel? You know, for us, uh, investing in a lot of things in our lives are about trust and really building trust with the community and doing things for the benefit of 
uh, our stakeholders and clients. And as you know, that's really the reason we exist. And I appreciate you guys being our FS Insight family members. So hopefully these answer your questions and uh, have a great day.